Hi, Lucina. Good morning. Uh, hello, all. Sorry, I'm right. Hello, Tom. Hello, everyone. Hello, cheers. Or I think we're going to give it till what five after Tom. Yeah. Paste the. Uh... Oh, which one? I, what can you guys see, if anything? Uh, I couldn't unmute fast enough. Yep, looks good. Okay. Am I right in thinking it's 9 a.m. Yeah, Pacific time right now? Or is it still 8? Thank you, Miss Luna. Right. Um, right, let's run through this then. So let's make a start. Um, okay, so the playlist for Cloud Native Telco Day is off on YouTube. That's good. Missed that. I'll try have a look at those sessions. Excellent. And Oh yeah, there was an announcement about the first products from F5 Junior from Matrix Pantheon, which is good. So where, just out of interest, where are those things kind of stored, if that makes sense? So is there a... The results website. 
yeah is there a website that kind of shows that these people have these companies have the certification yeah we're following um well i guess a couple of things so on cncf uh io slash cnf is the cert is the certification programs landing page it's also on the landscape um but the results so to get into the details the results are on the cnf certification github repo gotcha okay which is similar to the kubernetes conformance so if you go to the Ku kubernetes conformance github they have a bunch of folders per release which would relate to the tests that are available per release mm -hmm. we kind of followed the same um general structure so the cnf certification has a repo and for each release of the certification which should be any updates to the set of tests that are being utilized um there's a folder there yep there you go gotcha so really? there, yeah the the very first one was that v10 beta and that's gonna yeah you can see June, all of them are there except for the very newest one from f5 and they happen to use um the newest uh release cool good question taylor uh is there any way any transparency on how many vendors are in the process of being certified so who are actively seeking but you know not necessarily who they are but just you know like a sense for there's two companies three companies you know whatever um i believe there's a couple right now and then we have i mean i guess if you're there's a uh we're talking to multiple and then there's right now there's one that's working towards getting more um more of their cnf so like you know juniper has multiple that they're selecting a a different one okay but that's you know it's some of them would just be in the talking stages and just starting to meet with the engineers on the teams or talk to the teams or whatever else a little bit larger if you count that when we look at the groups but yeah yeah open to you know by kubecon eu next year it at a minimum double what we have here nice Oh, cool. New links. That's good. Um, so, yeah, upcoming events. Um, next week, we've got the ONE Summit and LFN Developer Testing Forum. Um, so, yeah, it looks like you're doing a talk there, Taylor. Um, yeah, it'll be a, it's just a lightning talk mm -hmm. going over the certification. Uh, very minimally talking about the the what steps and stuff like that, but it's a very quick lightning talk. On the later in the week, there's a at the LFN Developer Forum, we're doing a a full workshop, which would be like a a chance to debugging and hand, it's a hands on time, yeah, session essentially with um the team and the essentially this if depending on where people are we're going to have the information given out ahead of time so we expect some people to come in and go i'm already running it and here's the problems i'm having and yep. someone will say i don't have access to a cluster and we'll go okay well, let us get kind going on your laptop and start from scratch so it's kind of just an open thing for uh, working with anybody wherever they are cool and is that is the workshop sort of following on because didn't you didn't you have a good session with uh Annika last week or week four i can't remember what it was um 
thought I saw that on my internal update from Ricardo. Um, what was that about the CNF test suite? I, I'm not understanding what your question is exactly. So maybe I'm linking two separate things. I, I'd, I'd heard from Ricardo there was a workshop or a call uh, between the Anaket RA2 team and the CNF test suite um, team. Maybe I've misunderstood. Uh, yeah, um, and I, you know, this is probably something that uh, Oliver, you may be able to speak to, but we're uh, happy to work with folks and so that, you know, there's been conversations about it. I think some people that are doing the testing, we may have it. I, I think one of the things will be knowing what is the framework and what do we need to do. In the past, um, there was, it was working with funk test and we had given some feedback to help get that going and it was running in there. So I think it would just depend on, you know, what's needed and, and what we want to do there. But I, I think there's a desire to do it as, as far as the workload um, side. And I guess the further talks would be more about how that ties in with Annika Assured and what's desired there. So I think there's some technical bits and then there's the, the parts on, you know, LFN deciding what they want to do with the assured program and everything else. But we'll definitely be talking with them there. And uh, Watson specifically is hoping to work with some of the folks that are going to be at the LFN developer forum. Oliver, did you have any other details or know anything? Yeah, I think um, it may be what Tom, what you may be alluding to is, I, I mean, when we were at KubeCon, um, Gergay was definitely expressing interest to talk with, um, uh, I say Taylor, but Taylor and company. I mean, basically there's work ongoing, as you mentioned in RA2 or in R2, um, there's an interest in providing some kind of certification around workloads that are compliant with R2 infrastructure. Um, and we see that, you know, there's an opportunity to continue to leverage the test suite. And I think there's just a need for, call it alignment, sort of uh, collaboration between the two groups. And I think, Taylor, you had mentioned to Gerge that you'd be at the one summit. So I don't know if you guys have set any kind of meeting up. If you had, uh, you know, if you have, I'd like to be part of that. Um, otherwise, you know, we can take it offline. But I think you... I think you captured the main essence. There's there's interest uh, to leverage um, and, and collaborate further between LFN, Anakit, and CNCF. Watson, uh, from the certification team working on the test suite, he talked pretty extensively with Gergay. so. Okay. I think the comment. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that. I, I haven't heard anything from either of them, so I wouldn't know. But you know, I can reach out to Gergay and sort of get you know what the latest is. Sure. Okay, and then. The so CFP for KubeCon. So, so just one thing uh, regarding the next week uh, meeting, should we keep it or cancel it? Um, I don't know if most of the people are going to travel on those days. Uh, so I know that it is also start like in Tuesday. So uh, what yeah. do you think? Yeah, good question. I'm I'm not going or attending, so <laughs> I'm I'm happy to attend, but. If um if the bulk of the group are going to be travelling, then I think it makes sense to cancel next week. Okay. I won't be able. Plus one to cancel for me. For me, plus cancel. I mean, as well. I'd suggest cancelling then. Yeah. I'm with me. 
So it seems like unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah, CFP for next KubeCon closes next Friday. Is that right? Um, yeah, two weeks. So let's have a look at pull requests. Excuse the background noise. Okay. Uh, right. I think the first of these PRs is only not merged because of the linting problem. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And then the second of these is PRs is fixing that linting problem. Is that right? Yep. Uh, yep. Previous. Cool. Okay. I'll approve that now. So this is just adding various lists, words to the list. Okay. So yeah, apparently the preconditions were is uh, doesn't have to have a hyphen, so. This, this linting rules thing is very strict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, Taylor, do you want to approve it as well or should I just merge it now? Go ahead, merge. Okay, which hopefully means if this one how does one rerun the checks? Yeah, probably it was not rebase it, but anyway, I mean it... oh yeah, you'll have to rebase it. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, okay. So I tell you if you rebase that your branch and that should rerun the checks. Um, I, think that, I think you can go ahead, Victor. Yeah, no, that's what, what I was saying. Like, uh, really, you can merge now as it is because it's not modifying or it doesn't have any replace conflicts. So yeah, you can merge it as it is. That's what you were saying, right, Taylor? Yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem to merge it as is. And you can delete the branch, yeah. Oh. Okie doke. Uh, that means this one can be closed. I think you've done all of that, haven't you? And I think the remaining issues are the same ones we discussed last week. So I have no update on this top one yet, I'm afraid. Um, uh, Victor or Taylor, have you got any other updates on the open issues that have been here at the moment? No, updates myself. I mean either. Cool. That's all right. In which case, uh, yeah, that's a, we've agreed to cancel next week's meeting um, and there are no more agenda items unless anyone has anything now. Okay. I shall speak to you in a couple of weeks then. All right. Thanks all. Thanks all. Have a great time in Seattle if you're going.
For By sure. the way, for those of you who haven't seen it, is also available. You're also able to attend uh, virtually now. They oh, did open wow. that up. Great. Good news. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I nice that. Have a look. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, everyone. Cheers all. Bye. Thank you. See you.